Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of Padge Plays Replay slash Spooky Edition. It's Halloween, you know, or at least it's very close to Halloween by now. With the game Death Road to Canada, I did have to think for a second what game I was recording. It's there in front of me, it's staring me plainly in the face, and I completely forgot for that one second. We could call it Stage Fright. We could, we could. We could say that it was ignoring the slightly shady Death Road to Canada logo behind the big black box we have in front of us, which you can just about make out if you've got it on full screen. If you don't, what else are you watching whilst watching me? I don't I don't approve of that. I don't approve of that at all. But hey-ho, here we are. Episode 5, I believe, of however many it takes to either survive or die. And we're doing all right. In fact, we've got to the point now where I can't guarantee a very long episode. This could go on for 20 minutes. This could go on for 20 seconds. I've absolutely no idea. The only thing I do know as we're on day 12, which I believe is pretty far into the game. And we are due a super duper big siege soon. So we'll see how it pans out. Other than that, it's been uh, four days since I last recorded. Because I've had a nice long weekend with my family away. In my favourite place in the world, Western Supermare. And, well, here we are. We're ready to, to crack on. So uh, the horror continues. Yikes. Yikes. And uh, you know what? Let's have a, let's have a quick pause and uh, just see what's going on. So... Oh, we've only got four driving days until Canada now. This might possibly be, then, the last episode. We've got Donnie, the Roly, Roly, the Roly Derby. Uh, well, roller? Runner? It's not a runner. You roll on skates, don't you? The Roller Derby athlete, we'll say. We've got Valkyrie, who's, well, a, 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 a semi-sort of god-like person who, who, who's very happy. Very happy. And then we've got Grace and Chan, the anime person who goes around shooting sparkly bullets at people. So, you know, all in all, not a bad group. We have, we did lose our original person and uh, their sidekick. But, you know, these things happen. Like, you look, you look at Lost. You look at The Walking Dead. These these main characters, they're not there for good. There's no guaranteeing anything. And that's how I like to play my games. Mostly through incompetence, but even so. We don't let that stop us. Every day gets something. I didn't even read that bit. The Lost sneeze. Valkyrie really feels that she has to sneeze. This feeling drags on, but there's no sneeze. This may turn into one of those times a sneeze is lost. Combined with the pressures of the apocalypse. this could break Valkyrie's morale. <coughs> oh, jeez. That was not planned. That, it, that was convenient, but that was not planned. Oh. <clears throat> As you can tell, I'm a little bit throaty. I'm hoping I'm not coming down with anything. Right, oh. uh, do we try to sneeze? Smash self on nose. I suppose I could have smashed myself on the nose. Snort spicy food. That doesn't sound like a good idea if you're trying to stop a sneeze. Um, you know what? Let's try to sneeze. It worked out for me. Valkyrie can't sneeze on command. She loses the sneeze. It's very annoying. Oh dear. She's not happy. See, it's all falling apart. We're, what, three minutes into the episode and it's all falling apart. Oh, and now we've got no petrol. The car is completely run out of gas and coasts to a stop. Oh, it's all getting worse. Oh, God. The group gets sandwiched by zombie hordes while on a cliffside road. Without a car, the only way to escape was by jumping and hoping for the best. The fall was painful, but not fatal. Well, that's 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 good, I suppose. Medicine's all right. This is getting worse. While walking along a dirt road, Donnie thought that she spotted a car in the distance. It was only when she got close to it that she realised it was just a giant rock. What a shame. Well, I've 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 fallen for that, too. Maybe, at some point. Um, as it turns out, it's a good time to check out people's morale. And Donnie's doing alright. And Grayson's doing alright. And Valkyrie's not happy. She, she ain't a happy chappy. After hours of hiking, the group finds a car sitting alongside a country road. It's in great shape, but the keys are missing. A cabin is visible to the north. So the swarm size is very thick. Aggression is calm, so that's good. Current time of morning. Hmm... Everybody is injured. Isn't Valkyrie a medic? She is. So I don't really want to be putting her to... Too much trouble. Because if she dies, we get no way of healing ourselves. Uh, Donnie... Uh, da -da 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 -da, nothing there. Yeah, no, no, no. Trait, anime girl, perk, lovely power, mm. holding, lovely wand and a hatchet. Um, I mean, we could take Grace and Chan. Would it be a huge loss? Would it be a huge loss? What are you carrying? 
you know what? We're just going to take... Everyone else can rest. I know you, you don't heal up or anything, but I have faith in you, Grayson Chan. Let's go. Let's find this key. Look, she's pretty quick as well. Well, there's the car. That's a twig. Oh, that's some petrol. I'll take some of that. You know what? This is pretty easy. This is pretty easy. There's a cab in here. Oh, lordy. Uh... Uh, I mean, I could try and talk right now. Probably best if I don't. We're just looking for the keys. That's all we're looking for. I mean, I, I don't even know if this like. Oh lordy! It bounce. Does that bounce? Oh, it does. <laughs> Brilliant. I was, I was worried for a second there. I'm just, I'm a bit worried because I can't see any keys. I can't see any keys at all. There's no keys in here, definitely. Oh, there they are. <laughs> this is a set of keys, including some car keys. Divity top. Have we, have we collected everything we want? I think we have. We'll have a quick look around for some, some more Peter roll. I mean, we're not under any problems as far as being hemmed in here it'd be silly to not check it all out and you know the more fuel the better and all that uh, i think we're pretty much done now i don't is she injured so way of checking do we want the what i'll take the tire iron why not yeah that'll do it's not ideal it's not ideal but it works all right let's get in the car let's do this Started first time. That sounds good. That's a good engine. So we've got lots of fuel. Uh, a little bit of ammo, which is good. And we killed 19 zombies. That, that went all right. I can't, I can't argue any of that. Road trip. So everyone's fully healed as well. Awesome. That went, that went as best as it could have done, really. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things. But that would make a lot of noise. The group eats a decent meal. Okay. And Valkyrie's had a morale increase. What is happening to the anime portrait there? She is melting, or at least crying. I think she's melting. So we can tinker all night or just go to sleep. You know what? To keep Valkyrie's morale up, and the fact we're so close to Canada now, so this will probably be our last car, I'm just going to go to sleep. Yeah, I thought that put the morale up. Maybe we should turn back. Maybe you should shut up. Oh, Donnie's morale's gone down. It has started to rain over this city. The zombies become more aggressive in response for reasons that have not been explained. Okay. Um, moderate swarm size, irritated, late afternoon. So we can go to strength and fitness gym or furniture store. Well, I'd like to think from the, the gym, we might be able to find some medical stuff. So let's do that. Who do we want to take? Do we want to take everybody? I mean, it's mo why is she so melty? Hmm. Why is she so melty? You know what? We're gonna give her a pistol, just in case. Uh, ooh, do I want to give her a golf club? They're not that hard, are they? We got plenty of them though. That's probably for the best. I don't really want to take everyone if I can help it. You two follow, uh, resting still, you are. She's melting. I, I take it as that being a, a bad thing. Is it bad to melt? It, but yeah, I, I think it's probably bad to melt. We'll see how we get on with it. I mean, is it because she's anime? Anime, I suppose, you want to get all technical about it. Um, that maybe she's melting in the rain? Could that be it? I don't know. Probably best not to look too deeply into this. Just grab what you have to and bloody get out of there. There's plenty of food around here. That's good. Oh, more food there. And she's quick. Oh, she's sprightly. Oh, she's sprightly. What's in here? More food. Okie dokie. Oh, junk. All right. Okay. I mean, look at her. She's quick. Oh. Quickly. No, nothing in there. 
No, oh, no, fuel there. We'll take some of that. One. I think we should leg it. They're aggressive. That's fine. That's fine. I dig it. Oh, nothing here. Uh, muscle bomb gym. I mean, all right. What? 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 What the hell happened there? She exploded. There was nothing around to explode. It was a pair of dumbbells. Oh, I have no idea what just happened there. We got we got some rifle ammo brought back, and that was it. Oh well, one less person to feed, I suppose. So the loss of all that food was probably not that problematic an item. I, I, I'd like to think, anyway. I have no idea what happened there. She exploded. The group finds a gun range. It's empty and mostly pick cleaner supplies. However, they find some shooting targets and a working pistol. So we can search for ammo, train the group haphazardly, or carefully train one person. How are we doing for ammo right now? We're doing all right. We just lost some bullets, though. That's a bit of a booger. Uh, let's train group haphazard. In fact, guns, 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 guns. We can't check guns here, can we? No. Neither of them know. Uh, let's train group haphazardly. In that way, at least we can see what they're like. Oh, everyone decides to all blast the targets at once in the dark gun range. No thought is given as to whether or not this is a good idea. Whatever. All right, okay, maybe a little bit of a lapse of judgment on my behalf. But hey, no one's dead. No one's dead. Valkyrie's almost dead. Not well, not as much dead now, which is good. <sighs> the group sets up camp late on the nearby highway. Is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? Hmm. Let's wait until morning. Next morning, the group goes to siphon the cars, but notices a large horde of zombies approaching and the gas has to be abandoned. The group eats a decent meal. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We've got plenty of food. Uh, oh, right. So Valkyrie's fully healed herself. Well, that's good, you know, put, putting herself before her. I suppose if the medical person is down, they can't heal other people. So that makes sense. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. So we've got a hospital raid, a rest stop with car, or drive around some more. Again, medicine, medicine, or a rest stop, there'll be food. Uh, I mean, we are injured. Let's do the rest stop. Let's do the rest stop. The group finds a rest stop along the road. Right in front of it is a car that looks like it has been recently driven. The car is in great shape, but the owner is nowhere in sight. The swarm is thick, aggression irritated, and it's late morning. Well, I, I kind do, kind of, kind do have to take Valkyrie because Don is injured. And we'll just have to play it safe, I think. What's Valkyrie even taking? I don't even know what she's taking. I mean, do we take a backup item? I mean, we could take the pistols. Why won't you load up with ammo? Oh, you like the shotgun, don't you? Okay, what about the rifle? Yeah, we'll give you the rifle. Uh, you know, better safe than sorry. I'm, I'm not going to be as foolish enough to leave the hammer when it goes flying out to whoever to pick it up like like valkyrie does when she's controlled by the computer so that's all right i guess valkyrie some sort of celestial warrior let's see can you die that is the question well we'll take the petrol she's definitely slower definitely slower just want to check there's nothing else around before we go into here i mean it looks all right. She's a little bit pooped. Looks like we've only got the rest stop. It pretty much looks like my car, in all fairness. You know, if I was going to be sort of picky about it. Oh, door. Get out of my way. Food! Just a very quick tip in here. A little bit of pizza roll, which is good. Like the old gasolini. 
Uh, that's about it for this side, though. That's not the best. Oh, well, deeper we go. Nothing this side. Well, that, that was terrible, really. It's not, not ideal at all. Oh, okay, right. Keep it, keep it, keep it loose. Keep it loose. I mean, we don't need all this stuff. I mean, I don't even know where... Oh, they're, they're the keys. There we go. This is a set of keys, including some car keys. Awesome. Right, so. Are they any good, though? That, that, that is the real question. You know what? I'm not willing to find out. We've picked up quite a bit of food. We're not injured. Let's peg it. Oh. I mean, which one do we go for? Which... I do I do prefer the, the, the fancy coloured one. That looks good. We'll go for that. Get in the car. Do they split up now? Do we have two cars officially? I don't know. Let's find out. So, ah, a fair bit of rifle ammo there. That's good. A little bit of food. Lots of fuel. Guess not. Let's have a quick look at the car. Ah, well. Two more days. I'm sure it'll get us there. I'm sure of it. I'm just glad we don't have to deal with fast zombies. I'm all for that. And Dolly, Donnie's fully healed now. Good. The group tries to loot a grocery store, but it has been picked absolutely clean. Donnie finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read. So we can have American Guns, Turnkey and Good to Go, Cat Video Pictures, or Giant Farts Monthly. Ugh. Ooh. Wow. I don't think that's going to be a shooting perk. That's probably going to be your uh speed of getting around cat video pictures morale maybe giant farts monthly no idea no idea she's pretty quick already but i think we should make her quicker oh oh well that's good in a way this was the car magazine before society exploded the insightful articles have a calming effect on donnie so the composure is better although it wasn't good to start with bit of an anticlimax that but hey ho the group finds an empty spot along the road that looks as good for camping as any. The group eats a decent meal. Alright. Fuel's alright. The group meets a woman limping around with a crutch. One of her legs was wounded in a recent fall as she was getting away from zombies. The group lacks any medical supplies to help her. So we can leave her alone or steal her supplies. I mean, we're going to take a morale here, aren't we, if we steal her supplies? Or let it be. Or let it be. Each to their own in the zombie apocalypse. I'm one of the good guys. An enormous army of undead... Oh, last shot before Canada. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. You have 19 food left. Alright. Oh, God. I'm actually feeling pretty nervous now, to be honest with you. We've got this far. I've got this far on the Switch before, uh, but uh, never through it. Uh, the group sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two cans of food for every 25 units of gas? No! Not at all. My lord. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. i got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. She likes my cowboy rifle for one food. Hell no. Hell no. Who are you? Who are you? Hi, be kind to animals. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Is that it? Are we done? Because those were terrible traders. Is there anybody who wants to help us out here? That is adorable. It's a small animal. She looks like some kind of rodent. I'm not an expert on what what is and isn't a rodent. We can recruit her? It looks like a pug. It looks like a pug. We'll leave her for now. I might have to come back for you. Who are you? No, you call it! Oh, okay. We've obviously met him before. Can we go in here? No. Uh, well, let's go have a look in here. Oh, hello. Do you have anything I can steal? Which you won't notice? This rifle-wielding woman claims she used to train others in competitive shooting. She's selling tips for keeping your aim steady and multiple target trick shots. Some of us are slow-moving targets. It's real easy. Right. 
We have 19 food left. Nine food for group training. We're going to leave her for now, but we might come back to her. What about you? The group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He's carrying two suitcases of medical supplies. He offers one medical item for each item of food. We have 19 food left. No. Not worried about you either. Who are you? I would trade my fortune for a real roll of toilet paper. Right. How about you? The group finds a man near a rusted truck. The truck is full of gas tanks and oily rags. Both the man and truck reek of gasoline. He offers to sell 10 units of gas in exchange for every food item he gets. No! No, 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 no. Anyone over here? A couple. This woman is decked out in sweet bands, lime warp limb warmers even, and garish exercise clothes. Only the fittest will survive in this zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast. She's been continuously running in place this whole time. Nine food for group training. Ooh. I mean, we'll leave her for now. We'll leave her for now. Uh, Gavin almost made it to Canada. He got as far as the city of Crushed Hopes, where the rest of his group was eaten. He offers to join you for 10 food. He has a real good feeling about this attempt. Gavin gives a quick demonstration of his mighty strength. Oh, okay. And he wants 10 food. Hmm. You know, at this point, I'm thinking we just take on everyone we can. Uh, Gavin devours the food. It's like watching a speed eating competition, but with one person. Okay, so we've got you. And uh, now we're going to go to the pug thingy. And we're going to recruit her too. Recruit a puppy to the team. Ah, ah. I mean, we can't fail now. We've got a puppy. We can't fail. Uh, what do I want to do? Am I good with... Well, as we are. I think we are. Growing pet. That's the trait. Oh, God. What have I done? Hockey stick. His strength's good, though. You know what? I think we'll be all right. Oh, he, Gavin's got a good feeling about this. I've got a good feeling about this, too. Let's do this. I mean, six food. It's not the best. Puppy barks at random wildlife. Okay. Giant armies of undead close to the border. Perpetually lurch around the Canadian border. Unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. Siege alert. There's no escape. Horde size overwhelming. It's late afternoon. And the siege length is 1.5 hours. Oh, so this isn't even the the uh, the full-on one yet. This is just to, to get us through there. I mean, can we just get away with taking one person still? No, they've got to come. They've... Oh, God. Okay. So who do I want to play as? Donnie, I suppose. The rest can follow. Uh, so Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. It's a siege. We're not here to scavenge. So let's let's get you all pumped up. I'll do for you, Valkyrie. Then again, Gavin's got good strength, so we'll drop the Tyri in exchange for the Fork. Valkyrie, you can have one of those. And I guess the puppy just barks. <gasps> the puppy does damage. Axe-wielding puppy. It's got to be. Axe-wielding puppy. It's the only way to have a puppy in the group. Please don't die. Let's do this. Oh, lordy. We need to get in there. We're going to loot. We're going to... Mind the doors. Oh, God, they come through the ceiling. I mean, as long as we stay together, we should be fine. As long as they stop coming through the ceiling. I mean, do what you need to do, guys. It's fine by me. I mean, are these spike bats even any good? I have no idea. I have no idea. Where's the puppy? The puppy's still here? Oh, we could really do with the anime girl right now. Oh, Christ. Well, at least where we are, we can manage them coming through the door, which is good. 
Oh, he says. You know what? Only one of us has to survive to get through this. You know what? Back again. Back. Retreat! Retreat! We'll deal with them as they come through the door. Oh, as long as they stop coming through the ceiling! I think we're doing alright. I don't think anyone's died just yet. Surely this has to thin out at some point. This just can't keep going on. Oh my life. I mean, do I, do I go as the puppy? Do I change leadership to the puppy? The siege is over. Great. Great. Alright, let's leg it. Leg it, leg it, leg it. Leg it! Oh, she's down! She's down, we've lost Donny. I can't even move, your mission leader has died. Pick a new team leader. Puppy! Run, puppy! Run! R run! <laughs> run with your bat! <sighs> I think one person survived there. Other than Puppy. No, just Puppy. <laughs> More victims for the death road. With no one left to drive the car, the journey to Canada is at an end. Oh wait, there's still a dog alive. Puppy thinks of one word in her primitive animal mind. Canada. Puppy gets the keys, puts them in the car ignition, and st starts it up. Onwards to Canada! Oh, God. That went terribly. Maybe I should have just hung about the door. Maybe I should have just stayed outside, actually, thinking about it. Oh, oh, hindsight is always 2020. Puppy feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. She feels like she's getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the survivor. <laughs> um, I mean, if I do medical... Three zombie points earned. Awesome. Uh, do... I get to heal myself. Puppy pants. <laughs> Puppy prepares for the brutal day ahead of her. Canada is closed, but the zombie forecast is bad. Puppy eats a decent meal. There's food left for Puppy to eat a second meal. Awesome. So morale is good. Puppy is excited about Canada, so the dexterity increases. <sighs> Nearly at the borders of Canada, city of crushed hopes. Puppy is surrounded by seemingly endless undead. To survive, she must face one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Good to note. Siege alert, there's no escape. Overwhelming horde size. Current time afternoon. Siege length, four hours. I mean... You've heard of Hobo with a shotgun. I think it's time for a Puppy with a shotgun. That's it's the only way ahead here, I think. Well, it's, it's been an honour. I mean, I think this is all I'm just going to do for four hours. I'm just going to sort of roam around. They're climbing. You know what? We're going to go back down this way. Oh, God! I can't move past the undead! Shoot! Shoot! No. <laughs> I chose the dead end. Many uh, are a way that people die in the, in the zombie apocalypse through choosing a dead end. And so we have succumbed to one of the more common ways of uh, dying. But hey-ho, it was a good run. It was a good run. That was, pff, as, well, yeah, as close as damn it to, to the end. I'm not going to count it as a win because everyone's dead. But hey, the puppy made it the furthest. And that that's a bit heartwarming for me. I, I can take that away and be in a, a slightly better mood. That Not the fact that the, the puppy dies. We don't we don't focus on that. The fact the puppy had a chance. That's 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 what this is all about. It's about chance. It's about seizing the day. Carpe diem and all that. And hopefully not dying. But hey ho, we did this time around. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.